welcome to Ensemble Grand Kitchen. My name is Flo. I'm here with Melanie um, to speak about food, how food can help us uh, bridge the gap between our younger generation and grandparents and mothers. So we're using enjoyable, delicious, nutritious food um, to transmit a very important message which will allow us to live a healthier, happier and better life. Hi, I'm Mel, and I'm from Ensemble Manchester, originally from Cameroon. I call myself a Cameroonian cook because I just love cooking, like every, any Cameroonian that you will have come across. So I'm very delighted to be able to present today this uh, fantastic uh, recipe that uh, I've discovered from live in the UK, which is mainly a simple porridge that reminds me of the porridge, the maize porridge that we used to have back home and that I will be glad to transfer to younger generation of the UK so that they can enjoy a healthier breakfast. Melanie, I'm very interested to know what's the difference between the porridge here in the UK and the way we prepare it and the porridge perhaps in the Cameroonian country or the Western African? The porridge in Africa has been as less processed okay it's been less processed and here with this porridge i've chosen this organic porridge oats because as you can see it's not been gone through a lot of process and it still contain considerable amount of fibers which are good for your body interesting your i nutrition. can't wait to see it So first, for one cup of porridge, you will need two cups of water. So I just pour that water in there. Get the water first. So you have to preheat your cook first? Um, I just preheated it just to make things a bit quicker. Okay. But you don't have to because we need to be able to soak the porridge into water. Okay. Let it soak. It's a quiet. If you, can, if you have a look here, yeah. it'll, you let it soak. Okay. Low heat? Low High. heat, very okay. low heat. So I just noticed that you put your water in first. Normally when I'm cooking my porridge, I just pour in the milk, add in the porridge, boil, there we go. So How wrong is that? It, it depends on the porridge. Because okay. like I was saying before, some of the porridges are very, very processed. Mm -hmm. I've been going through quite a lot of process. So they're very fine. And as you know, there's so many brand and marketing companies behind food in this country. That just makes it so difficult to choose the right nutrient, the right food with which contain the right nutrient. I will strongly advise after you will have tasted this porridge. I can't wait. Try it at home. I can't and wait. And see just you will taste the difference. I've not had breakfast today, especially because you invited me to your kitchen. So I can't wait to taste it. Absolutely. And you know, with this, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you mm -hmm. might just even do it with just the water. You okay. don't need it. Looks, it looks delicious it already. already, Melanie. It can looks amazing. That? Yeah. I and can now, see it. because children, for children, it, milk is a good thing. Mm -hmm. For your teeth. I tea. usually, definitely, mm -hmm. I put some milk in at the end. This looks absolutely delicious. Where did you learn how to cook this? You know, the funny story is that I actually learned to cook it at the hospital. Okay. This is uh, because at the hospital, we usually serve patients porridge in the morning. Mm -hmm. And the look of it just was just so familiar to the porridge that I used to have back home. So I went to the kitchen, slept in the kitchen one day and just asked the cook, how do you make that porridge? Oh wow! So she gave me the recipe yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, I went home, tried it, never made porridge the way you make it, you know, the way you yes. make it with milk. Yeah. Because with milk, it doesn't even cook properly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste that nice. Come and have a look at it. And with children, we definitely need... You know, and with this um, oat porridge, you can see, just oh, with looks... one cup of porridge, you mm. can feed two, three people. Wow. Yeah. Um, apart from the hospital, because you said it brings back memory from your childhood, can you explain more about that to us? Yeah, back home we have this maize porridge mm -hmm. and uh, it just looks white and creamy, but it's just maize. 
which uh, women do in the street with beignet. I don't know whether you know beignet. Yes, I know. In Nigeria, they call it puff puff. Okay. Yes. So, so it just reminded me of the porridge that we had back home. And that's what made me think, oh, that would probably something that I can get used to instead of trying to eat toast every day. Something. You know, with this, just water and a bit of milk, and then you can add in all those fruit, nuts, whatever you want, wow. lemon, whatever you want. Lemon? Just, absolutely, it tastes beautiful with lemon. Wow. You just put a bit of lemon in, squeeze a bit of lemon in, honey, nuts, grapes, whatever you want, whichever fruit you want, you, you prefer. I can't wait to try it. Absolutely, to try it. it's delicious. I understand the Grand Kitchen is encouraging people to cook the homely way. And one of those things of cooking the homely way, sometimes we don't have a measurement, so we're not really exact on what we're putting in our pot. So how do you know what the quantity of um, the ingredients that's put yeah, in the porridge? That is a very interesting point, Flo. So the African way, we just cook by the eyes. Mm -hmm. And you will adapt your own measurements. But we have like, guides. Yeah, with this, mm -hmm. I started making it using one cup of uh, porridge and two cups of water. Okay. Then just add the milk mm -hmm. to taste. Okay. So you can just go with something in your house that you want. You know, anything in your house, a little cup, a little uh, jar. You can just adapt the jar like this and then go by it, you know, empty jars. You just use it as your measurement. Mm -hmm. oh, I think the key thing is, is that whatever cup you have, so let's say you have this one, one cup of porridge, mm -hmm. two cup of milk, of water, of, of water and mm -hmm. half cup of milk. milk yes. So you just know whatever you use, just keep the same measurement keep all the, the same way. Measurement yeah, all the the way. And if you want to serve more people, mm -hmm. just add more. Add more. And that's simple. And adjust to the recipe. Adjust to the recipe. It seems simple. I can't wait to you try know, it. And that is the key thing. So we're going to serve now whatever consistency you want. Mm -hmm. And so that is your porridge. If you want to add more milk to it, it's up to you. It looks good. Yeah, definitely. So if you get another bowl for me, please. Flo. Of course. Pleasure. Wow, I could see so much um, that you could do with this porridge. So what's your favorite? What would you bring in? In your so bowl? My favorite is usually those blueberries. Mm. I will bring blueberries in. A bit of blueberries. Is it too much? Enough? Or I what? love blueberries. Okay. It's just my favorite fruit. fruit. Wow. Some nuts. Okay. So if, for example, I just wanted cashew nuts, that's it. And yeah, just you can just, that. yeah, because this is like sugar. Mm -hmm. My own sugar. I wow. put the, the raisins. Sugar. I love them. I just love them. <laughs> I could eat raisins every day. I love them. And that would be it for me. And then I'll put a bit of uh, jam. Okay. I love jam with the porridge. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, there is jam porridge. Yeah, just put that jam. Put the jam on the side there. And that's me. So you make your pick, whatever you want it to go in your porridge. Okay. You can choose from that. I've not had brown sugar for a very long time, so I'm gonna try this. Yeah, just have my very own surprise. Yeah, you just squeeze a bit um, of lemon. I think Make I'll have more. a bit of um, bananas, mm -hmm. or maybe strawberries, mm -hmm. whatever you want. You taste it and let me know what you think. Oh, I love making this. Imagine with the children at home. I can't wait to try it. Definitely. They'll be so and excited. Yeah, let them pick whatever fruit they want. Mm -hmm. And when there's a variety, they probably go for one. And that is, would be a good way for you to introduce them to a breakfast with fruit in the morning. Because they probably wouldn't have a chance to get that at school. Yes. Believe me. Wow. Dash of lemon. And it's ready to go. Wow. Five star homemade. Mm. Porridge restaurant at home. Let me try it. <laughs> Delicious. Absolutely. Thank you. So now we're just going to bring in our little social bubble. We've got Jasmine. 
Frank, welcome guys for join, uh, joining us. And we also got little three month old Mabel. Mabel. Oh, fantastic. What would you like in your porridge, Frank? I've got jam. What would you like? Blueberries. Please. Blueberries. Just add some blueberries into your porridge. I just pour it in there. You just pour how many you want. Mmm, that's good. So would you like some sugar in it? Yeah, or yes, milk please. or jam? Sugar, please. You want sugar? Just use that brown sugar for me. Just a bit of spoon. Mmm, not too much. Oh. What about you, Jasmine? What would you like in your porridge? Strawberries. So you've got strawberries. What else would you like in your porridge? Jam. Jam. Okay, you want a bit of jam in your porridge. That's cool. You can put some jam in. Alright. Mix, 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 mix. So just mix it and try for me. That's amazing. Isn't it? Mm. What, what do you think, Jasmine? It's really good. Good. Well done. It's not even too sweet at all. This is perfect. Isn't it? So do you think you it can is. learn to make that next time and cook it at home every day before you go to school? What about... Should we yeah. go through that challenge yeah. of seven days of morning porridge with different fruit? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. That would be good. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Melanie, for inviting me into your kitchen. It's been so wonderful working with you, and I can't wait to see what you've got in store. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Flo. This is what the Grand Kitchen is about. I can see. Connecting children, families together, bridging the gap between younger and older generation. That is what we are all about. So... Don't forget to spread the news, get your friends on board, families, grandma, whoever you have, you know, in the community who might yes. like to learn to cook wow. simple, delicious food at affordable prices. We are here to support. And I'm so full. Thank you. My day is you are very secured. Welcome. My day is guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. You are absolutely welcome. Thank you.